Boy, am I glad you're all back, especially you, Granny. I love you. <laughs> Can I carry you into the house? Oh, if it makes you happy, Jethro. <laughs> oh, it does. I want to get you to the stove as quick as I can. Ah, you put me down. Let me <laughs> You're all hard, boy. He's all stomach. Sure, something take go. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes. Oh, apparently you weren't too happy with the chief's cooking. Oh, Mr. Drysdale? He ain't been here since Christmas. He ain't? Well, no, sir. But he took the truck in Ellie's Bear and drove to Hooterville to join you. Well, he never got there. Wait a minute, Jed. When we was on that train, Christmas night singing carols, I recollect Sam Drucker looking out the window and saying he seen a bear driving a truck. Yeah, and we just thought he'd had too much eggnog. <laughs> No, that was Fairchild. I learned him how to drive so he could spell Mr. Drysdale at the wheel. A bear? He ain't bad, Granny. He hogs the road a lot, but the other drivers never complain. <laughs> I wonder why he didn't stop in Hooterville. That town is easy to miss in the daytime, but at night, with no lights to speak of on that truck. No grace to speak of, neither. But she runs good. I fill the gas tank with Granny's white lightning. Why? And I give him plenty of extra jugs for the trip back. That stuff is liquid dynamite. I'll say it is. Maybe he overshot Hooterville. Well, I certainly hope we hear from him. If he runs into something, the whole countryside will hear from him. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, uh, mm, mm, oh, 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 who are you? I'm the sheriff, who are you? Oh, I, I'm the president of the Commerce Bank of Beverly Hills. Oh, well, who's your friend, the mayor? <laughs> He's not my friend. He's just a rotten, no good hippie bear. You uh, ride around with bears a lot, do you? Oh, of course not. Now, look, Sheriff, I, I can explain everything. I, I must admit, it does seem a bit peculiar. No, not at all. Uh, just let me see your driver's license. Oh, yes, sure. My, my wallet's missing. Maybe your hippie friend rolled you. <laughs> no, it, it, it probably dropped out of my pocket. You see, we've been sleeping on the ground a lot because these lousy motels around here won't give us a room. No fool. You know, that's mighty unfriendly of them. Everybody's been unfriendly. We drive up to a farmhouse, you use the phone, ask for a little food, they sick the dogs on us. <laughs> but we're gonna make up for all that. We want you to be a guest of the county for a while. Well, now, that's more like it. You mean I'm under arrest? That's right. What for? What are the charges? For a starter, hauling moonshine. Now, look, Sheriff, you've got it all wrong. I just use this stuff to run the truck on. You mean you use the truck to run this stuff on? <laughs> keep, keep, keep your voice down and, and put that corn whiskey away. If he wakes up and sees that junk, he'll go for it. You mean you let that bear drink? Try and stop him. He's sleeping one off now, and when he wakes up with a hangover, oh, he's mean. You gotta be crazy to be riding around with a drunken bear. That's, that's nothing, but when he's driving, then it's nervous. <laughs> Let's go. Follow me. Where are we going? We're going to the courthouse, and if I look back and see that bear driving, you're in big trouble. <laughs> you rotten bear. I'd undress you and put you to bed. You ought to be in the drunk tank. <laughs> Mr. Drysdale, I just made that phone call to your bank. Oh, good, good. Did you speak to Miss Hathaway? No, she wasn't there. Well, whoever you spoke to, I'm sure they gave you the word. They sure did. Said they never heard of you. <laughs> Are you sure you talked to the Commerce Bank? That's the one. Well, who'd you talk to? I'll fire them. I couldn't catch the fellow's name. He was laughing too hard. <laughs> Did you tell him his boss was in jail? Yes, sir. And that's when he started laughing. <laughs> Excuse me, Fairchild. I'll, I'll be quiet. Go back to sleep. That's a good bear. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Join us, Miss Hathaway. We are celebrating New Year's Eve is past. 
<laughs> We're celebrating something better than that. Yeah, we finally got him. Public enemy number one. <laughs> He's in jail. Woo! Skin flat drive. Yeah. Uh, the beast of Beverly Hills. <laughs> Where is Mr. Drysdale? Uh, promise me you'll keep it a secret. Of course not. He must be released immediately. Oh, he'll never be released. They've got him for vagrancy, bootlegging, and contributing to the delinquency of a bear. <laughs> Mr. Cratchit, do you want the doors of this bank to close? Oh, oh yes, that's a great idea. We, we'll make it a legal holiday. Uh, Liberation Day. We'll hang out flags and bunting, and we'll uh, let all the employees go off on a picnic. <laughs> the only place we are going is to the town where Mr. Drysdale is being held, and we are going to take him out of that jail. No, no, no. Uh, I'll have no part of a lynch mob. <laughs> I mean we are going to bail him out. Do we have to, Miss Hathaway? You may return to the secretarial pool, Miss King. Yes, ma'am. Nice try, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy, dear. Thank you. <laughs> now then, Mr. Cratchit. Where is Mr. Drysdale? Oh, he, he's in a, a town called Ripley. Where is that? I've never heard of Ripley. Oh, oh, but you will. We're going to make it a national shrine. <laughs> the town where they captured a notorious Melbourne Drysdale. Mr. Cratchit, where is Ripley? <laughs> I'll never tell, Miss Hathaway. <laughs> never, never, never. <laughs> Mr. Cratchit, you, you come back here. <laughs> Please, Miss Jane says Fairchild's in jail. Your bear? Yes, sir. We gotta get him out right away. Where about is he, Miss Jean? In a little town called Ripley, but what's even well, more disturbing? We got to do something. Get a lawyer. Call the Supreme Court. <laughs> Granny baked Fairchild a cake with a saw in it. Calm down, Ellie. Well, it's all Jethro's fault. Just wait till I find him. <laughs> he's done turn Bessie into a short order cook, and now he's gonna have my bear on a chain gang. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Jean, but Ellie sets great store by them critters. Yes, well, there's another critter she failed to mention who was also under arrest, Mr. Drysdale. Why? Well, as I understand it, he's sharing a cell with Ellie's bear in the Ripley jail. Where is Ripley? Well, I couldn't find it in the map, but it must be somewhere between here and Hooterville. I'll bet Sam Rucker would know. He's the postmaster and the justice of the peace. Good thinking, Granny. Give him a call. How come they got Mr. Drysdale in the lockup? They claim he's a vagrant. Is that bad? Well, I'm afraid <laughs> so. I knew a whole family of them back home. Herb and Louise Vagrant. <laughs> the nicest folks you ever want to meet. Well, in this case, a vagrant is someone who doesn't work. A loafer. Oh, well, they couldn't be kin to Herb. He was a worker. <laughs> Hello, Sam. This is Granny. How's things in Hooterville? Well, fine, Granny. You folks get home all right? Oh, we had a dandy trip. Good weather all the way. How's it there? <laughs> oh? A few sprinkles and a snow flurry, huh? Well, you keep bundled up and wear your overshoes. Don't you catch cold, you handsome rascal, you. Granny. What? <laughs> Ask him about Ripley. I've got to give him some sweet talk first to let him know I care. The man's in love. Dry jail's in jail. Well, hey, Sam, do you know anything about a town called Ripley? Well, yeah, Granny, that's over in Jasper County. He knows where it is. Now can I get back to my sweet talk? Give me the phone. <laughs> you know, Mr. Drucker? This here Jed Clampett. Hey, there's a real good friend of ours named Drysdale. He's in the calaboose over to uh, Ripley. You know anybody over there can help him? Well, I could try. I know the judge over there. No, no, no. I'll be happy to do it. I'll call you from there. Okay. Bye. Hey, Fred, can I borrow your truck to run over to Ripley? Oh, I reckon so. But take it easy. Arnold's asleep on the front seat. He's up half the night watching the late, late show. You know, Fred, you treat that pig better than you do your wife. Have you seen Doris lately? <laughs> well, I'll drive carefully and try not to wake Arnold. Oh, he wants to be woke up at 1.30 so he can listen to his radio show. Uh, what station do I tune in? Oh, he'll do it. It's his favorite soap opera, Just Plain Swell. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Sam. Yeah? What time are you coming back? Well, just as quick as I can, Fred. You see, a friend of a friend is in jail over in Ripley, and I want to see if I can talk the judge into taking it easy on him. You don't mean old Vinegar Joe Johnson, the hand judge. Oh, now, Fred, Judge Johnson ain't so bad. Where that man spits, 
Grass never grows again. <laughs> he only turned mean after his wife ran off with that banker from Kansas City. You see, Fred, I won't have no trouble. As long as the prisoner ain't a banker or a city feller. <laughs> Wino. You alcoholics all alike. You never learn. Oh, ooh, ooh, you have bad breath, dear child. Bad breath. <laughs> How about a little fresh air? Well, it's about time. But you're not out of the woods yet. I'm preferring charges against you. False arrest, false imprisonment, violation of my constitutional rights. Oh, wait till my lawyer gets through with you. Oh, knock it off. Oh, don't you hit me. I'll sue. I'll charge police brutality. I... Will you sit down and be quiet? I'm here to take your hungover friend for a walk. I hear him groaning all over the courthouse. People think we're mistreating the prisoners. Look, look, when do I get out? Listen, did, did, you, did you call my bank again? Yes, and the same fellow answered, and he's still laughing. Listen, I really am president of that bank. You've got to believe me. I don't even believe it's a bank. All I hear there is rock and roll music and girls laughing and people yelling about Liberation Day. <laughs> Listen, will, you, will you please, please call again and, and let me talk? I can't waste the county's money on that. The Vinegar Joe wouldn't like it. Who's Vinegar Joe? Well, the judge that's going to try your case if he ever gets back from fishing. The judge is out fishing? Yeah, and mister, you better hope he has good luck. <laughs> hey, Pete, where'd you get the... Oh, ooh, where'd you get the bear? Oh, I took him off of the vagrant. Oh, say, he's a rough-looking character. Oh. Where'd you pick him up? Out on River Road. He was running moonshine, the bear was riding a shotgun. He ought to be pretty fair protection. <laughs> yeah, lucky for me, he was sleeping off the snootful. The bear drinks? <laughs> Judging from his clothes, he probably smokes pot. That man must be a real degenerate. <laughs> He's a bad one, Sam. Just wait till this case comes up in front of Vinegar Joe. Where is the judge? Uh, he's up the river fishing for white bass. Oh, he's gonna be mean when he gets back. The bass ain't running today. I feel sorry for that poor guy. Yeah, well, so do I, but that's his problem. I'm looking for a fellow by the name of Drysdale. Oh, that's him. Oh, no, no, no. I, I gotta, I gotta plead his case in front of Vinegar Joe. I guess so. He claims he's a president of a bank in Beverly Hills. Holy cow, a city feller and a banker. Good luck, Sam. Well, I'll need him. The judge is up the river and he's up the creek. <laughs> Mr. Drysdale, I'm Sam Drucker. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you. Sam Drucker? So you're behind this plot. Oh, I might have known. Boss Drucker, head of the Hooterville Mafia. What? Finally, we meet face to face. Yeah, and I'm getting the worst of it. I can see it all now. You're trying to ruin me so you can have the clamp and fortune in your bank. You framed me. You had me picked up on phony charges. I don't even know what you're talking about. Not much you don't. And leaving the cell door open, hoping that I'll make a break for it, huh? <laughs> so your friend Pistol Pete can shoot me in the back. Even brought the bear outside so there wouldn't be any witnesses. Ah, uh, well, that won't work. You railroaded me this far, but you're not dumping me into an unmarked grave. <laughs> Mr. Drysdale, I think you're a little wrought up. I am wised up. And I demand a fair and impartial trial before a judge. Well, you'll get a trial just as soon as Joe gets back. Joe? J J judge Johnson. Oh. Well, you even have the judge in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sam and Pete and Joe. Oh, what a trio. The political boss, the gunslinger, and the crooked judge. <laughs> well, I'd be real careful what I say about Judge Johnson. There are two kinds of men he don't like, and you're both of them. I am a Beverly Hills banker. Bingo. <laughs> Get out of here, you small town gangster. I'm not knuckling under to you or your mob. Now, Mr. Drysdale, to help you, I left my store and I rode 40 miles with a pig. A pig? Yeah, and he was listening to radio serials every foot of the way. <laughs> That's country justice for you. I am picked up because I have a bear sleeping in my car. But you drive around with a pig who was hooked on soap operas. <laughs> if you just listen... Out! Out! <laughs> Come on down, Granny. I'm afraid I got bad news. Sam Drucker just called from Ripley. Did he forget his overshoes and catch cold? He's more serious than that. 
Has he got the tissue? sick? It ain't Sam, Granny. It's Mr. Drysdale. He goes on trial first thing in the morning. We gotta be there to help him. Well, I've gotten the directions to Ripley. We're gonna have to drive most of the night to get there in time. What all are they holding again, Mr. Drysdale? The charges are piling up for the minute, but the one I'm worried about is murder. He's committed murder? Not yet, but I'm afraid he will when he gets back to his bank. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Circuit Court of Jasper County Township Ripley is now in session. Honorable Joe Johnson presiding. All right. <laughs> He's seated. Is that the degenerate criminal I had to give up my fishing trip for just when the bass started biting? It's him, Your Honor. I object. You're calling me a criminal before I... Sit down and shut up. You're in contempt of court just from the way you look. It's not my fault. I didn't sleep a wink last night. They were building a scaffold outside my cell. Yeah. We're gonna hang that big city banker that ran off with my wife. Hang him? Why? He brought her back. <laughs> now, what are the charges against this tramp? First, there's vagrancy. 30 days. I am not a vagrant. I'm a banker. 60 days. I am president of one of the biggest banks in Beverly Hills. 90 days. <laughs> What else is he guilty of? Contributing to the delinquency of a bear. A bear? Yes, Your Honor. Where is he? Well, Peter's bringing him across the courthouse lawn, and he got loose and chased a woman up a tree. Oh, now, that's serious. Possession of a dangerous wild animal, jeopardizing the lives of peaceful citizens. Sorry about the delay, Your Honor, but the bear got loose and treed your wife. Was that Phoebe he chased up the tree? Yes, Your Honor, and I'm afraid she's still up there. <laughs> How much you want for that bear? Well, Your Honor, I'm very attached to him. You know, a man's best friend is his bear. <laughs> My bear! Howdy, fair child. I'm so glad to see you. Howdy, Mr. Drydale. Order in the court. Now, you say that's your bear, young lady? Yes, sir, Mr. Judge, your honor, sir. His name is Fairchild. He's a real nice bear. Well, now, I like his taste in owners, but his taste in traveling companions needs working on. <laughs> now, would you hurry up and read the rest of them charges? I'm going to get back up the river and catch me some of them white bass. You mean me, your honor, sir, but uh, I can tell you how to do that. Who are you? I'm her pa. You may approach the bench. <laughs> so you're a fisherman, are you? Well, I've uh, caught a few. Uh, speaking of white bass, I got a little homemade spinner. You put a little uh, pork rind on it, and I've hauled them in that big. Could you make me one? Sure. <laughs> when this trial's over, you want to go up the river with me? Be proud to. <laughs> What else is this hobo charged with? Transporting moonshine. Oh. <laughs> this smells like Tennessee tranquilizer. You got a good nose on you, Judge. That's just what it is. <laughs> Who are you? I'm her granny, and I made that stuff you're sniffing. You may approach the bench. <laughs> How would you like to go fishing, too? Can I take Ellie and her bear with us? I insist on it. It's a deal. Bailiff, <laughs> is there any more of this here evidence? Yes, Your Honor, three jugs. I want it all impounded on my boat. <laughs> Court's adjourned. Well, wait a minute. What about me? Your Honor, um, Mr. Drysdale's a real good friend of ours. I can vouch for his character. If I was to turn him loose, is he the kind of a banker that would run off with my wife? No, oh, he wouldn't do nothing like that. Well, in that case, we might as well take him fishing with us. <laughs>